Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. You've already dropped half a mountain on the bastard. I'm sure anything I can tell you pales in comparison. Corypheus has already killed the Divine, along with countless others. And he'll kill a lot more unless we stop him. You've already sealed the breach. That's damned impressive. I could barely get my friends to stop fighting. Still, if you think I can help. Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. So Corypheus has the Venatori, the Red Templars, and now possibly the Wardens as well? Wonderful. I didn't come this far just to give you bad news. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. We've encountered red lyrium. Corypheus was using it to corrupt the Templars and turn them into his slaves. Hopefully my friend in the Wardens will know more. If Corypheus has corrupted the Wardens, it may be too late to save them. I understand. I'll do whatever's necessary to stop him. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time, I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. You said you thought you killed Corypheus? The Grey Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside. But he could still reach out and influence the Warden's thoughts. He sent them after me. And I didn't just think I killed him. When the fight was done, he was dead on the ground. Maybe his tie to the Blight somehow brought him back. Or maybe it's old Tevinter magic. But he was dead. I swear it. Why did you step down as Viscount? The Templars started using a dangerous new form of Lyrium. It's red and very powerful. Templars serving Corypheus were using Red Lyrium. I stopped most of them. It made the Templars in Kirkwall paranoid. Eventually they came after me. I left Kirkwall to try to find out more. I never imagined it would lead me to Corypheus. I'd like to know more about Anders. What was he like? Complicated. It's not like the minstrels make it out to be. He's not just a monster or a hero. Or maybe he's both. He was trying to change the world. He knew it couldn't happen peacefully. I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? When the Wardens began acting strangely, I had my friend Aveline take my sister out of the Free Marches. Isabella and I never believed in being tied down. When I had to go into hiding, she understood. We'll see each other again. Until then, she'll be having fun. But hopefully not too much fun. I assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition. What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general, but he thinks highly of the Inquisition. I think the exact phrase was, has a good shot at fixing Blondie's mess. We'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crestwood. <laughs> 